Internet. My name's Sean, and I'll be your host of this week's What Do You Know Wednesday. We're going to be looking at pivot tables when you're trying to analyze different sets of data in PPC. So as you can see here, we have a keyword report. It's run for the last three months, and this is just one campaign. And we segmented each of the keywords by week. So it's quite a bit of data, over 600 lines. And through the help of pivot tables, we're going to make that digestible. Just like Excel says on their own help site, that pivot tables are used to make large amounts of data easily accessible in friendly ways. So you start by just going to your data sheet and you click select data and then go down to pivot table report and you just click on that. You'll have a couple of default options. You can just go next on each of the three of them. It takes you where you want to go. So you go to finish and it'll take you to a new tab and this is what a pivot table looks like. And it's all about dragging and dropping like it says right there on the page, drop data items here. So you're given a choice of all of the different columns that you have on your set of data. And so right here we're just going to grab match type because we want to investigate different bidding options we've been doing. And you can drag clicks right to where it says drop data items here. So now you can see match type and all the clicks for that. You can also throw impressions over there too. Right now it's going to be stacked though, which is not the greatest looking thing. So you can take that data, that little gray box right there, click it, drag it over to total. Now you have two different columns, it looks a lot better. Things like that in pivot tables make your life a lot easier. That one little trick can save you a lot of eye strain. But whenever you don't want something, just pull it back to that box, drag and drop it away. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a calculated field. We want to look at, click, at cost per click, but the cost per click on our data isn't correct because it's not weighted for different impressions or different um, for the number of impressions we have. So we can name our new calculated field, cost per click, and then we'll actually have the pivot table calculate that for us. So we can select cost, just double click that, and put the slash, and then you're going to divide cost by clicks. So now we'll have our own field, and that's what it's going to look like right there. And so we take six lines of data and turn it down just into four different match types that easily with the pivot table. You can even change it up here further by having a column field so you can look at your cost per click for each of the ad groups. And you can do that for anything that's one of the columns over there. That's one of the beauties of pivot tables. And because there's all this data and just depending on what you decide to drag and drop, you can query it that much faster. You could even put something up on the top to look at different pages. So we can look at the data back from October 24th, just that one week. We can look, go to a different week and see how the trends have changed since then. And then we can always just go back to the aggregate. So pivot tables, just in a few simple clicks of the mouse, you can look at different sets of data in hugely different ways. And whenever you're done with it, all you got to do is just grab it, drag it back to your box, and you can start all over again. Sometimes for the data fields, you'll have to right click on it, or secondary click, and then just decide to change it yourself and then just click delete. You won't be able to drag those, so just be careful. But whenever you're done with most things, just bring them back to the box and you can start all over. That's the beauty of pivot tables. So just remember that you can use calculated fields. Unfortunately, those are only data items. Calculated fields can't be column fields or row fields, it's only data. But aside from that one little hiccup, calculated fields and pivot tables are a beautiful thing. Thank you.